Hey everyone, this is Cammie from Garden Hat. We're building a modified kiddie pool system. So first uh, we're going to go ahead and build and level our base so that we get even water distribution throughout the pool. So now we're going to go ahead and level each board. You see why my daughter also uses my $45 level to even out the dirt. Thank you very much. Alright, next we're laying out our boards which are going to be the frame for the pool and the supports for the bird netting to keep the critters off our strawberries. And we have a lot of critters around here. Okay, so there we go. We're, hi! Okay. <laughs> and next uh, I want to sweep off the debris so there won't be any splinters that stick through the plastic and create leaks. So we want to have a you know clean base. All right, and then there's my daughter shooting staples at me. Thank you very much again. Now we're laying out the uh, landscape fabric, and that's going to go down over the boards, and I'm tacking it up the sides of the boards so that way I get good uh, coverage. So I will add two layers so they overlap. Uh, then I go ahead and staple that down, make sure that it's, you know, good and tight. All right. Then I put down an old sheet that I had for extra cushioning under the plastic. Gotta have it nice and smooth and even. I cut off the edges. Then I went ahead and stapled that down too a little bit. Okay. All right. Next, we go ahead and put down um, our plastic. We lay the plastic down over that. The wind was kind of blowing that day, so it was a little complicated. Good to have a helper. She had to pull her hoodie up though because it was kind of cold. And she goes uh, and gets a board and that's for cornering the plastic for a better fit. It actually just kind of, you know, helps it keep it up there in the sides too pretty good. So we staple all the sides at the top so we don't have any leaks. And of course then somebody had to have perfect corners. The cleanliness is not a bad thing. My daughter wanted those perfect corners. So we go ahead and do that. And then she goes and steps in it. All right. Next, we put in drainage holes. Now you have to have drainage holes uh, in this. Uh, I started. I did mine at two inches from the bottom, so that way uh, you want to make sure that you have in, at least an inch to an in, to two inches of water in your pool at all times. So you put the drainage hole at about two inches, so it'll drain off if you get any excess rain or anything like that. But it did mean drilling the hole with a half inch spade bit and then forcing a three inch piece of half inch of vinyl tubing through the hole. I then put silicone sealant around the hole on the inside where it was against the plastic just to make sure that the water wouldn't be leaking out all over the place. I want the water to go through the tubes. Okay. It wasn't so much fun. It was uh, actually kind of laborious I made sure that I had a drainage hole on each side of it so that way I'd get plenty of, of uh, drainage on this side though it did go ahead and stick on me because uh, that treated wood is a little cranky so my drill bit got stuck in there and I had a heck of a time getting it out of there I had to wiggle it around and wiggle it around to, to get it out of the wood because it just wouldn't come out I finally jiggled it until I got the thing out of there. But I went ahead and finished that hole. Made sure that I put silicone sealant around it and everything was good. So we finally got it done. But we were being watched by the enemy. Yeah. He's already thinking of strawberries. And he's thinking, he's watching, yeah, but I'm thinking, not a chance, Buckwheat. Stay tuned for the next video where I'll show you the method and soil mixture that I used for potting up strawberries into grow bags for the kiddie pool system that we just built in this video. See y'all later.